Okay, together BNB. &B. Where do I start? Money's precious and time is precious, and somewhere down the line, we will have to make some sacrifices. But this is not the case with Together BNB. &B. It's by far one of the greatest games I think I've ever played. It's got some wholesome characters, some meaningful conversations. Pussy. They have no future. I just, I can't get enough of it. It's fair to say after putting 27 hours in Together BNB, I can safely say that it's a masterclass of storytelling. On the surface, it looks flat and uninteresting, but the more you uncover, the more you will soon realize there's a lot more going on here. Now, I have a few theories on what's going on. Number one, we're in the matrix, but there's this very terrible AI and it's bad. Theory number two, a mutant strain of fungi has taken over humankind, controlling them, and he's trying to take over the world. I, the last immune human, must decide whether to live with the fungi or destroy them. Bam. And my personal favorite is theory number three. Aliens have abducted me and taken me to their planet to recreate a natural human habitat for human copulation. It all must have been based on watching a lot of Japanese harem animes, and it must be in the alpha phase of testing because the humans need a lot more work. Anything else? But enough of my ridiculous theories, let's get into the meat of the game. We start off with a phone call and we can already tell this game is going to be absolutely legendary. Thank goodness. Your brother went out and haven't returned since then. We show up at a house and meet the three things posing as humans. We got Big Bob's English teacher, Japanese OnlyFans megastar. She's got tens of thousands of fans on the internet. They enjoyed her performance. Oh, I bet and... they did. And then we meet the final boss, the rude Russian coffee girl who does nothing but talk about coffee. Oh, the coffee tastes so bad. Now all the pieces are in play, it's time to get in some of the crazy quest lines. First quest, we must find a key to get into our brother's room who's gone missing. Whoa. Now this is a hard one, because after spending a good 30 minutes of hunting around the house and not stalking the girls. Oh, oh yeah, smile for the camera. I finally got a prompt to where to find the key. It's under a fire extinguisher. Oh wow, so much fun, very good. Once inside the room, you'll find a gun, you'll find some keys, you'll find the location of some shops that you must visit. Now this is where my fear is really coming to play, because I have no car. How did I get to the B&B? &B? Maybe my mind has already been taken over by the fungi. So anyways, to get to the shops, I have no car, so I must walk. I spend a good 20 minutes walking, and the game just starts mugging me off. <laughs> You're fun so funny! Now other than the B&B, &B, we have three other buildings we can visit. We've got the forest box. It sells junk. Bam! We've got the green life store. It sells food. Bam! And we've got the gun shop. It sells what you think it would sell. So you speak to all the guys, absorb their rich story dialogue. He told me he's been chatting with a chick on the phone for two hours. Shit. Why didn't he just fuck her? Takes two hours too. Wow. Oh my. And then you meet this guy. This guy is my personal favorite. This guy is like Johnny Silverhand if scientists replace his DNA with pure Chad genes in the hopes to make the greatest Chad that ever walked the earth. Susie! Daddy's here to spank you! Anyways, long story short, he gives us a key to open the safe that's in our room. We get some dollar, teacher and coffee girl ask for some crap, so we have to go to the shop. We get the goods, they don't show us the goods. Bye. No, come back, please. Then some goddamn weasel shows up and tries to uh, steal the show from me, and I, I wasn't having that, so I, uh, bam. So after I don't shoot that guy, he tells me the location of my brother. Anyway, it's at this house over here. So I check it out, I get jump scared by a wolf, uh, I kill the wolf, I find this, and that's it, GG, game over, congratulations. You've just spent 14 pounds on a two hour game, it, worth it. There is a car out there, and there also is another gun. Shooting stuff is truly a horror show. Help me, why did you kill me? Why? Ah. But other than that, the girls won't ever speak to me, and they're all conveniently busy all the goddamn time. I feel like I'm being friend-zoned. 
I'll talk to you later. To give them nice things while they act like I don't even exist. And then I realize this game is just a fucking simp simulator. Oh no. I'm a little busy now. Can't accompany you. Busy? Busy doing what? Busy just standing around in your fucking room, you fucking busy! But I did plan on simping for a little bit longer. I wanted to see what the wine tasting was like. Maybe see them swimming inside the shop. They had some bikinis on sale. I thought maybe if I got the shopkeeper happy, I could put them in bikinis. But unfortunately, the game had an update. It bugged out. I couldn't open the game up again. A couple restarts later, a few reinstalls, and uh, no dice. I, I, I think they realized I was onto them. You see this here? Magic book. Some Harry Potter shit going on. She's like, oh god, he's, he's spied me, so she decides to escape to the other side of the room. Anyways, I would highly recommend this game just as much as I would highly recommend to join my Patreons list by clicking this button here. Big thanks to more Gecko, still the realest homie. I'm Monkey Man Cry, it's been Monkey Man Cry TV. Thank you for watching and peace. Now I've seen NBA Jam like a million times. This is this is gonna be easy. Shit. Fuck. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Nope. Fuck. Shit. Fuck this game. I hate it.